Guess what, kids? In the past two days, it appears that Ubuntu has released eight versions of 1310 Saucy Salamander. But guess what? I'm not going to be reviewing all of them. But the next one in my lineup is Ubuntu Studio. And we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. At first glance, this is a pretty cool looking XFCE desktop. But before I go into anything on this distribution, let's go over some of the particulars. All right, first I'm gonna open up a terminal emulator. And I'm gonna type in top, T-O-P. This is telling me that this distribution is using 616 megs of RAM. Not too shabby. So, I mean, if you have more than four gigs of RAM, you know, uh, this isn't going to be uh, too much on you. Uh, the XFCE desktop is also great for a multimedia type of distribution so that you have more resources free for your applications. Let me uh, go over the changes that were made. A new menu structure which works on any desktop environment. A new package named Ubuntu Studio Installer which allows any person to install meta packages and can fit into any environment. All settings are in one place instead of a menu. Hmm, I wish Manhara would do something like that. The XFCE session in the Light DM is removed to avoid any confusion with the Ubuntu Studio session. The latest low latency kernel will always be def the default boot item uh, in the Grub bootloader. This will allow you to have added punch in those multimedia applications. And actually, that is the kernel that I am running right now. All right, let's have a look at this and see what you get. I had a chance to uh, fiddle around with this a little bit last night. And I'll tell you what, kids, I am pleased with uh, what they're presenting us with here. All right, quick launches to everyday things, your web browser, your file manager, a text editor, your terminal, and then your settings manager. And this is what I was just talking about a moment ago. Everything is located here instead of a clunky menu. They put it all here for you. So everything is easy for you to get to, to configure all of your settings. Very nice indeed. And then, uh, in, they have all of these categories by the types of things that you would do on this system. And I really like how they laid all of this out. Before I go into the applications, I want to show you this, which I think is a nice feature. You can click uh, Install uh, Audio Production Applications. They have this also for graphics, photography, video, and publishing. And when you click on this, it gives you a nice little menu of things that you can pick out. So you don't have to search for this stuff in the Ubuntu Software Center. It tells you what it is and gives you a brief description. So all you have to do is just check the one you want, press the OK button, and it'll download it and install it for you. How cool is that? Now, this weighed in at 2.6 gigs. And let me tell you what, kids, you get the mother load of this. They picked the cream of the crop in terms of applications. In audio production, you have a lot of audio processors in here. You have MIDI utilities, uh, mixers uh, and card controls, sound generators. You get Jack, which is a low latency sound server. Um, I used to use Jack when I was plugging my electric guitar into the computer and I could do real time uh, effects processing without having to plug my guitar into a pedal board to do a uh, flanger and all these other cool effects. That's kind of cool, but it has other purposes besides just that. Okay, and um, you also get Ardour, which is a fantastic digital audio workstation. You get Audacity, Hydrogen, which is a drum machine. You get an Internet GJ console, the Linux Multimedia Studio, which is Linux's answer to Fruity Loops or FL Studio. Uh, MuseScore, 
uh, not sure what this pure data QT extractor or super, well, super looper, I guess I can understand what that is. But okay, cool. A lot of these applications I haven't tried, but maybe I might just have to look into some of these. If you're a graphics designer, look no further. Everything you need is right here. Uh, Agava is a really cool program. I use this for, uh, for picking out a complementary colors and color schemes. Uh, Blender is included with this. You get Font Forge. That's right. You can make your own fonts with this thing. Uh, you get the GIMP. You get Image Magic. Inkscape for scalable vector graphics. You get Krita, MyPaint, Simple Scan, and of course, Synfig Studio, which is a uh, vector graphic animation program uh, similar to the animations that you could do in Flash. If photography is your thing, plenty of tools here for you. You get the dark table. You get the GIMP. Sorry, couldn't resist. Uh, you get a uh, Fatch Image Inspector. Is that how it's pronounced? Fatch? What a weird name. <laughs> You get Rapid Photo Downloader, uh, Raw Therapy, and of course, Shotwell. In video production, here we go. More goodness. And of course, they've got Blender in here. Again, but that's okay. They even have a, uh, okay, and it looks like they got Audacity in here again, too. All right. They've got Brazero for making coffee coasters. Why do they keep including this? This is XFCE. They should have included XF Burn or maybe even K3B. Well, I'm not complaining. Just ranting. You know, oh well. Uh, you get the DVD styler, Inkscape, KDN Live. Now, for those of you who've been watching some of my uh, KDN Live videos, and I tell you, you got to have 096, this has it. Ready to go. Try this out. You get Open Shot Video Editor. Uh, you get uh, GTK, Record My Desktop, a subtitle editor. Uh, this video's program is uh, Totem. Yeah, oh, my brain just, well, I need another cup of coffee. And then uh, XJadio. And then, of course, in publishing, uh, I already mentioned Font for Forge, but you get a uh, Font Manager, MuseScore, Scribus, and simple scan. You would think that they would have your spreadsheet program in here, but I'm sure it's actually in here. If you click on the uh, extra packages, uh, I didn't get a chance to look at this. Okay, you got Scribus. Hmm. Okay, if you want an office suite, go to the software center and get it. I guess they don't consider, you know, if you want to do a tutorial presentation on how to make the perfect spreadsheet. <laughs> Okay, you get all the accessories that are necessary with any common Linux distribution of file roller, calculator, character map, color picker, yada, 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 yada. Same old song and dance in the internet. You get Firefox. You get an internet DJ console, remote desktop viewer, transmission for all of your BitTorrent client, BitTorrent needs, uh, downloading your uh, ISOs and pirated software. I mean, uh, legally obtained programs, right? I'm watching you. Are you downloading illegal software? Shame on you. Okay. All right. In multimedia playback, you get audacious. Why do they have Brazero in here again? It's beyond me. Uh, yeah. Parole media player. You get the volume control video design. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in office, get a dictionary. You get Orish Calendar, Orish Global Time. Those are standard with XFCE. Oh, and this is where the extra Office applications are. Okay, Abbey Word, GNU Merrick, and LibreOffice. So that's where you put them in. Okay. <gasps> All right. All right. Ubuntu Studio Information and the Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our file manager. Let's have another closer look at the theme. XFCE supports GTK3 theming, so it has a nice look to it as well. Very easy on the eyes. All in all, this looks like a good job. Uh, personally, I still think AV Linux is the most comprehensive. Uh, they have a lot, a lot, a lot of applications in here. 
But if you don't need all those applications that ABE Linux has, this is this is the one to go for. Not only that, this is a 64-bit distribution, whereas uh, ABE Linux is only available in 32-bit with a PAE kernel. I think that's how it is, unless they did release a 64-bit. I can't remember. Hmm. Okay, but um, good job, Ubuntu Studio team. Uh, don't worry about scopes with uh, ad. Uh, with advertising and that sort of thing, it's not in here. At least I don't think it is. Uh, maybe I should open up the source code and take a quick look and check, get back with you later. No, I'm just kidding. Now, no, uh, no spyware, no adware, uh, no Unity scopes and all other fun stuff. Uh, so, if multimedia is your thing, uh, give this a try. If, if just to try some of the different applications that are available and then maybe download them and install them on your own Linux distribution of choice. I'm out. Thank mm -hmm. you.